Hey there, beautiful souls. Janelle here, your relationship coach. And today we're going to dive deep into the fascinating world of love. But not just any love. We're talking about the science of love. What really happens in our brains when we're in love? It's a question that has intrigued scientists, poets, and lovers alike for centuries. So buckle up, because we're about to embark on a journey into the human brain, the ultimate love machine. Imagine your brain as a bustling city with neurons as its citizens. When you fall in love, it's like a grand parade is happening in the city. There's a rush of activity, lights flashing, music playing, and everyone is in a state of euphoria. This is your brain on love. The first stop on our parade route is the ventral tegmental area, or VTA. This is the part of your brain that produces dopamine, the feel-good neurotransmitter. When you're in love, the VTA goes into overdrive, pumping out dopamine like a confetti cannon at a victory parade. This is why love can make us feel so giddy, so euphoric, like we're walking on air. Next, we swing by the caudate nucleus, the part of your brain associated with reward detection. When you're in love, this area lights up like a fireworks display. It's like your brain is saying, this person is a prize, a jackpot, a grand reward. But love isn't just about feeling good, it's also about feeling safe and secure. That's where the oxytocin comes in, also known as the cuddle hormone. It's produced in the hypothalamus and released by the pituitary gland. Think of oxytocin as the warm blanket that wraps around you and your loved one, creating a sense of comfort, trust, and attachment. Now, let's not forget about the adrenaline. Falling in love can feel like a thrilling roller coaster ride, and that's because your adrenal glands are pumping out adrenaline, cortisol, and norepinephrine. These are the chemicals that make your heart race, your palms sweat, and your cheeks flush when you see your beloved. So, there you have it, the grand parade of love in your brain. It's a complex, beautiful, and sometimes overwhelming process. But remember, every parade eventually winds down, the confetti gets swept away, and the city returns to its normal rhythm. This doesn't mean the love is gone, it just means it's evolved, matured, deepened. I hope this journey into the science of love has given you a new appreciation for the power and complexity of our emotions. Remember, love is not just a feeling, it's a physiological process, a dance of chemicals and neurons in our brains. If you have any questions about love, relationships, or anything else, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below. And if you need personalized help, check the video description for a link to my website where you can book a session. Before we wrap up, don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful. And subscribe to the channel for more insights into the world of relationships. Remember, understanding is the first step to improving. So let's keep learning, growing, and loving together. Until next time, take care of your hearts and minds, 